we have a, a story to, to talk about. I stopped here for a few minutes so I can get this and then also throw it away because I just got a letter from my mother who, which came from my ex fiance, which, oh my god, my exes are so fucked up. Like, literally, two of my exes are so fucked up. Like, literally. So, my one ex girlfriend turned into a guy. Oh my god, which we already know. <laughs> oh my god, so fucked up. And then now my ex fiance is turning into a girl. <laughs> Sorry, this is too fucked up. <laughs> like, seriously, you guys are going fucking nanners and my life's going the right direction. Your life's going God knows where. Like, hello? <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. I had to be arrogant about this, but seriously, what the fuck? Damn, like, okay, I gotta read this. I gotta read this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta really, like, so he goes, like, your mom said you're kind of going through it emotionally right now. It breaks my heart to heart to hear what you're going through. I know you are used to being a sarcastic asshole, but I swear on the on the love we once shared that we created, that created our beautiful psychotic children. And I mean every word I say and will say. First, I'm so proud of you. Even though you don't really have a choice, you have a job. Keep up with your bills and dyed hair. You know that I loved your dark hair, but whatever makes you happy, hun. <laughs> Second, this might make you recoil and rebel against what I say, but you are a big girl and I'm, I'm not pulling punches. You're wasting your time and energy on that putz. I know you, Jen. You want, you want what you think makes you happy. I know because right now I'm doing the exact stupid thing you are. I'm hanging on, t on as a side piece for a woman who asked me to marry her, left me twice, and shoehorned me into a poly relationship with her new partner. And I have to be, I have to be both of theirs. I love her and me not so much. He's in a relationship with another girl and they're freaking in a relationship. And he's having all these issues. Like, like even when we were in a relationship, because I had a polyamory relationship, he didn't even touch my girl. My girl's my girl. Simple. And like, what the hell are you doing, dude? You're fucking up your own life even more for another girl? Like, seriously? Like, seriously, you're better than that. Like, God, have you learned anything? Fucking exes. Like, seriously, learn from my mistakes. Like, God. So, th that definitely is more fucked up than what you're dealing with. But this guy isn't any more serious about you than Julie is about me. You deserve better. Please find it. Like, He's at, like, oh my god, I feel sorry for him, but at the same time, like, what? You put yourself in that predicament, like, get out of it, like, seriously, I've learned a lot, you know? And then he just goes on and on about when he uh, got with this other girl, and uh, um, I'm just confessed to all this bullshit, but apparently he's getting out October, and then he's like, I really want to be your friend, Jen. You're the most, you are the one of the most important people in my life. I'd like to get lunch or something when I get home. Also, and then he told me about he gets uh, five free minutes and he wants to, to know my number so he can get a hold of me. And then um, he said, remember, Jen, you are more than just your relationship. You're a driven woman. Make someone earn you. And then he puts his uh, new name as a woman, Andrea, which is hilarious though because it's my mother's fucking like was legal name legal name before she became Audrey. Like, oh my god, this is too fucked up. <laughs> fucking name, the misery of it all. My exes are going off the deep end. Meanwhile. My life's so fucked up and I'm struggling, but yeah, I'm going forward and I'm still like, what the hell's going on? Like, and no offense, I don't be friends with exes. Either I'm fucking you or I'm not. That's just how that goes. Like, being abrupt here, but like, hello, that's how that goes. Ew, got chubby fat. I'm getting losing weight. Ugh. I'm a preppy bitch now, so as you can tell, so it's like, ooh, okay, gotta go, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I gotta get my hair dyed again. But seriously, oh my god, my exes are fucking flipping, and I'm sitting there watching. I was like, "Are you serious? Are you <laughs> serious?" And I'm the one that was being called fucking crazy, and you guys are the ones going off the deep end, and I'm sitting here doing this, struggling. Oh man, please. Um, I know my ex-husband is like fucking dangerous as hell. 
So, at least I know from what I know from the officers that, you know, whatever. But, fucking A, my ex fiance of 10 years, and then my ex-girlfriend does her shit. I'm like, oh my fucking God. This is, like, so should be a guy. Like, but I don't know. But, I'm not making fun of him, but Jesus fucking cry me. Like, oh my God. Like, shit could happen, and I'm like, whoa. So... Whatever, I got shit to do, I got bills to pay, and I got money to fucking make, seriously. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> Too funny. Alright, guys, if you know if I remember and you enjoyed the fucking hilarious story I just gave you, which I'm pretty sure is going to get more fucked up as October comes along, and I, because <laughs> he wants to talk. He wants to... <laughs> oh, my God. I can't wait to talk to him. This should be interesting. <laughs> Alright. If you're not a family member already, please give a huggy to the huggy button and give a mwah to the love button. I'm sorry, guys, but if you're not laughing about this, this is just a fucked up mess altogether. And the mess is just getting messier. <laughs> it is fun. All right, guys, I love you. Bye.